A major complaint I hear from users of Windows 10 is that it takes a long time for their computer to start up. Coming up, I will show you five proven and tested ways to fix these slow boot times in Windows 10, along with a bonus tip near the end of this video that will give your PC dramatic improvements to performance and faster boot times. Let's get started. A setting that has caused a lot of issues for people is the fast startup option. While it's supposed to boot up your system quicker, it's actually had the opposite effect on many computers. To turn it off, left click the start menu and select the settings icon. Go to system. In the left pane, select power and sleep. Over here to the right, under related settings, click on additional power settings. This will open up the power options in the control panel. In the left, select choose what the power buttons do. To make the necessary change that requires administrator permission, click on change settings that are currently unavailable. In shutdown settings, untick where it says turn on fast startup. When you're done, click on save changes. If you don't see the option to turn on fast startup, you will need to enable hibernation. Here's how you do it. Right-click the Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type the command powercfg space forward slash hibernate space on. Hit Enter on your keyboard. Hibernation will now be enabled. Close out PowerShell and follow the steps already mentioned to disable fast startup. Having too many programs loading at startup could be a major source of your problems when booting up. Here's how you disable the programs you don't need loading at startup. Go to your taskbar, right click, and in the menu, select Task Manager. Here at the top, go to the Startup tab. You will now see a list with the names of the programs, the publisher's name, the status, whether that program is enabled or disabled at startup along with the startup impact. To disable a program at startup, left click to select it and click on disable here in the lower right. Do this for each program you know that you don't need at startup. If you're unsure, just right click the program and select search online. Virtual memory allows physical memory to be temporarily transferred from random access memory to storage on your disk, which helps compensate for physical memory shortages. Changing virtual memory has been known to fix slow boot problems. For this one, type performance into the Windows search bar. Select adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Go to the advanced tab. In virtual memory, click on change. Here at the bottom of this window, in total paging file size for all drives, you'll see minimum allowed, recommended, and currently allocated. There are some people that have noticed that their currently allocated is well above what is recommended, resulting in slower boot times. If yours looks similar to mine, don't make any changes. If your currently allocated is a lot higher than what is recommended, untick the box here at the top where it says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Select Custom Size. For initial size, I usually just round down a couple gigabytes lower than what is recommended. In this example, I'll enter 3000, which is equivalent to three gigabytes. For maximum size, enter in the value listed below for recommended. In this case, that would be 4968. When you're done, click on Set. Close the windows out, reboot your computer, and you should notice a faster boot time. Poorly optimized graphics drivers have been known to cause boot issues. Updating those drivers can sometimes make Windows boot up faster. One way to update your graphics drivers is to right click on the start menu and select Device Manager. Go down to Display Adapters, right click on the graphics card that you're using and select Update Driver. Typically, you would select Search Automatically for updated driver software unless you have the driver software already available on your computer. Then you would select Browse My Computer for Driver Software. 
If you own a dedicated graphics card with the corresponding software already on your computer, you'll want to open that program to check for driver updates. If you've been playing around with the Linux Bash terminal in Windows 10, you most likely have the Windows subsystem for Linux feature turned on. Having this turned on has caused issues for many people when booting up. To turn this feature off, type Windows Features in the search bar. Select Turn Windows Features On or Off. Scroll down, untick the box for Windows Subsystem for Linux. Click on OK, and when it's done applying the changes, restart your computer. Here's the bonus tip. If you're still using a mechanical hard disk drive and you have the financial means to do so, upgrading to a solid state drive will make your system boot up a lot faster. In addition, opening files, launching programs, and anything you save to your computer will all happen a lot faster than the typical hard disk drive. Other than adding more RAM to your system, upgrading to an SSD is one of the best upgrades you can make. If you've been following the pricing for SSDs for the last few years, then you'll notice at this time, pricing is at an all-time low. Thanks for watching. Hopefully at least one of these fixes helped in making your computer boot up faster. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell notification icon to stay up to date with the latest Windows 10 tips and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.